All right, everybody. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome, everybody, to the third part of Hundred Days to Cat series. In the last couple of parts, we've revised a few important concepts like the number of digits in an exponent. Beyond that, what we've also understood in the last part is AMGM and its application, the AMGM inequality in particular. In this part, we are going to understand one very very important aspect in style. which is chinese remainder theorem now chinese remainder theorem is something which many of us do not understand it completely or you know understand it in in some bits and pieces so let us complete our understanding and let us understand it in a very simple manner okay so let's begin chinese remainder theorem is an important part of remainders which is again a very important part of numbers now what does chinese remainder theorem primarily help us with one very important application of chinese remainder theorem is to get the last two digits getting the last two digits of an exponent for example see 76 to the power 6 how do you find the last two digits there are some prominent ways of finding last two digits one of which is chinese remainder theorem how does it work let's figure out in this example if you see 76 to the power 76 apne ko last ke do digits calculate karne hain 76 to the power 76 kisi bhi number ko if i divide by 100 and i take the remainder then it will give me the last two digits right for example 387 if i divide by 100 and take remainder it will give me 87 correct similarly if i divide 4096 with 100 it will give me 96 so when you divide a number by 100 and take the remainder it is bound to give you the last two digits right so i can write this question in this form now once i have written it in this form then in so what do we do under chinese remainder theorem let's understand in the denominator we have 100 okay first step is to split this number into multiple of co prime numbers what are co prime numbers the numbers whose hcf is 1 for example you know 25 and 4 i can split this number as 25 into 4 and these numbers are co prime numbers right what are some more examples of co prime numbers for example let's say 64 and 27 these are co prime numbers numbers whose hcf is equal to 1 right now what i have to do is split it into co prime numbers the next step here is i have to you know let's say that's this number in the numerator let me write it as n okay if i divide this number i have to do an individual division with the two factors so i have to divide it with 25 so if i divide this number with 25 75 is divisible so it will give me a remainder of 1 1 to the power 76 it will give me a remainder of 1 if i divide this number with 4 i will get a remainder of 0 so i can write this number n as 25x plus 1 and i can write this number as equal to 4 by because it's divisible by 4 now how do i write a general term or a general equation which satisfies both these equations okay that is the key aspect here now the general term which will satisfy both these equations will be the first term which satisfies the both plus lcm of 25 and 4 which are the coefficients of x and y into another variable k so what is the first term here what is the first term that will satisfy let's see if i put x is equal to 1 this becomes 26 now i can't get a integer for y if i put x is equal to 2 to apne ko 51 mil jayega wo bhi 4y se divisible nahi hai right not divisible by 4y if i take the next number which is 25 into 3 75 plus 1 76 now this number is divisible by 4 by so the first term which satisfies both these is 76 lcm of 25 and 4 is 100 into k now this number in the numerator can be written as 76 plus 100 k if i can write this number as 76 plus 100 k and if i divide it with 100 my last two digits or the remainder will be 76 because this number will be divisible by 100 i am hoping that this is clear to you so what are the steps quickly summarizing the steps 
you have to divide it by 100 and take a remainder. In the second step, you have to write this number as product of two co-prime numbers. Third step, you have to take individual remainders and form these equations. And finally, the fourth step, you have to write the general term satisfying both these equations as first term plus LCM of the coefficients, 25 and 4, into another variable. Finally, this is your number in the numerator. If you divide this number by 100, your the remainder is 76. Also, you know, one way, one shortcut here is as soon as you get, you know, this first term, that first term itself is your answer here. Right? So you don't need to, you know, write this entire form, but you can write that first term as your answer. Let us apply it into one more question to give you a little more clarity. Okay. Let's say 32 to the power 40. I have to get the last two digits. Let me do it step by step for you to follow. Let's see. Now, 32 to the power 40 divided by 100 and I have to take remainder. This is my quest, number one. Number two, 32 to the power 40, I have to write 100 as product of two co-primes. So 25 into 4. Step number three, I have to take individual remainders. So 32 to the power 40 divided by 25 is going to give me a remainder of 7. So 7 to the power 40 divided by 25. I can write this as 49 divided by 25 raised to the power 20. Now, if I divide 49 with 25, it's going to give me a minus 1, the concept of negative remainder. Okay. I have also done a video on, uh, you know, summarizing all the key concepts of remainders. So you can have a look at that also. Okay, that will summarize some of the key concepts of remainders, like basic remainder theorem, negative remainders also. Minus one to the power 20, that becomes equal to one. So therefore, a remainder when divided by 25 is one. So I can write this numerator as n. That number n can be given as 25x plus one. If you look at this number, this number is divisible by 4 anyways. So I can write this number as equal to 4y. Again, the number satisfying both of these will be 76. So the general term will be 76 plus LCM of 25,4 into k. So 76 plus 100k. If I divide this number with 100, my remainder is going to be 76. One interesting funda, which I'm going to give you, which is going to come in handy. 2 to the power 10, you all know, is 1024. So one you know, quick thing to remember here is 2 to the power 10 into odd number will always give you last two digits as 24. And 2 to the power 10 into even number is always going to give you 76 as last two digits. I'm hoping that this is also clear to you. Let's move ahead and see the next bit here which is your homework. Do let me know the answer to this in the chat. If you find any difficulty, let me know. I am hoping that, you know, this adds value in terms of understanding Chinese remainder theorem. If you liked this, uh, you should share it with more aspirants who can get benefited. I'm going to stay glued with you for the next 100 days to help you, support you and guide you in this journey. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Take care and bye-bye.